Shalom. Today we're going to look at another pair of words, which are Aleph, Ayin, homonyms. The first of these words is or with an Aleph, and this means light. Genesis 1-3, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. Judges 16-2, and it was told to the Gazites, saying, Samson has come hither, and they compassed him in, and laid wait for him all night in the gate of the city, and were quiet all night, saying, in the morning, when it is day, when it is light, we shall kill him. A few other translations in Job 37.11. Also by watering, he wearies the thick cloud. He scatters his bright cloud, his cloud of light. Amos 8.9. And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord Jehovah, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in that clear day, in a day of light. The other or is with or with an ayin, and this means skin. Genesis 3, 21. Unto Adam also and to his wife did Jehovah God make coats of skins and clothe them. Genesis 27, 16. And she put the skins of the kids of the goats upon his hand and upon the smooth of his neck. You know the story. So because of this homonym, some people have made some interesting conclusions. Starting in Genesis 1.26, And God said, Let us make man in our own image. After our likeness, let him have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. And what does God say about his image? Psalm 104.2, Who covers yourself with light as a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. Timothy 6.16 Who has immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man has seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. So we see that God himself is in light and clothed in light. Psalm 27.1 Yehovah is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Jehovah is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Proverbs sixteen fifteen, In the light of the king's countenance is life, and his favor is as a cloud of the latter rain. We see Moses, when he came down from the mountain, his face was shining. Exodus thirty four twenty nine, And it came to pass, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, with the two tables of testimony in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. There are some rabbinical commentaries on this. The meaning behind this is that Adam was on a spiritual level that made him fit to wear garments of light, and even his heel radiated a light more brilliant than the sun. Had he not sinned, his facial skin would have radiated a blinding light. So this is from a commentary that was written in the early 1600s. The same rabbi also wrote this. When he descended from Mount Sinai, Moses himself encountered the experience of wearing both garments woven of light and of the skin of his face radiating light. Both his body and his soul had undergone similar refinement. Another commentary written in the 1200s. I believe furthermore that the merit of studying Torah incessantly for 40 days resulted in Moses' skin emitting the rays of light described by the Torah for the remainder of his 40 years until he died. Again, a commentary from the early 1700s. It is also possible that the entire episode reflects a spiritual return by Moses to the time before man had sinned and God had provided clothing for him made of leather. This would be or with an ayin. According to Bereshit Rabbah 24, the Torah scroll of Rabbi Meir, who lived in the mid-2nd century, had the words ketonet or with an ayin. In Genesis 3.21, spelled or with an aleph. In other words, this Rabbi Meir said that the original Torah scroll said that he had garments of light, that Adam had garments of light rather than garments of skin. When God turned the skin of Moses' face into a source of light, he demonstrated that the process which had once turned light into skin was reversible and that man could be rehabilitated to the spiritual level he once enjoyed prior to the sin 
in Gan Eden, the Garden of Eden. So some commentators have come to the conclusion that when Adam was first created, his skin was light. After his sin, God gave him garments of animal skin. The Bible teaches that we become like what we worship. Psalm 115, 4 through 8. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouth, but they speak not. Eyes they have, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses they have, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them, so is every one that trusts in them. A parallel verse in Psalm 135. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusts in them. When we worship Yeshua, our Messiah, we see from 1 Corinthians 15, 45. So it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. He can make us alive. We see in John 1, 9, that he was the true light which lights every man that comes into the world. Again in John 8, 12, Then spoke Yeshua again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. And again in 1 John 1, 5, This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. A prophecy from Isaiah 49. And he said, Is it a light thing that, that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel? I will also give you for a light to the Gentiles that you may be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Second Corinthians 3.18 But we all with open face, beholding in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. And Yeshua himself told us, We are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hid. If we worship the light, we will become like the light. We, be, we can be restored back to the light that man was designed to carry by God designed in God's image to reflect the light of God. Until next time, Tasimita Inayim al Hashemayim. Keep your eye on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.